found at the garage sale for $10 and sold the same day, hours later, for full asking price of $325 plus shipping. And hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos. What's a bolo? It's an item to be on the lookout for. If you are a reseller and you're looking to find items to flip for a profit that go for big money, you have come to the right place. I am going to share with you items that were posted in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that people sold for big money in August on eBay and other platforms. I posted this in the group, share your best August Bolo. And this is my Facebook group. If you're not in it, you can use my link tree down below to join. It is absolutely free. Lots of Bolos in that group and reseller content. So come check it out. Let's get started here with the first one. So these were posted by members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is almost to 100,000 followers. So come on over. I found this giant Douglas Dalmatian stuffed animal at the Goodwill bins. Probably paid less than $10 for him. I could see that he had been modified. Most likely a family or a child had used marker on his ears and tail to make him look like their own pet. But I picked him up anyway, knowing that giant stuffed animals tend to do well. It is a Douglas Cuddle Toys 101 Dalmatians three foot stuffed animal. I listed on eBay auction, I'm sorry, I listed on eBay auction starting at 200 and had a handful of people message me saying they wished it would have been, would have not been colored on, of course. So they would pay at least 200. So I ended up taking 200, buy it now instead and figured 10-ish into it, 200 was not bad. This was my second highest selling plush found at the bins. The highest was a very rare Rushton. So she went ahead and took the offer because somebody said that, because it was colored on, they were only willing to pay 200. What would you guys have done? Would you have let the item stay on auction or would you have taken the offer? Definitely a nice profit. I got this at Target in 2022. Dia de Maretto's mini Alfrenda box day of the dead at a yard sale for $2. I didn't have a clue what it was. I just thought it was cool. I love picking up miniature items Got it home, was looking up comps, and was shocked to see that they were listed and sold for. I priced mine at $199 with offers on. Sold for a best offer of $150. And this is what it looks like. Bolo alert. Bought this salad ma master electric skillet for $5.99 at a local thrift store. Sold it on Mercari for my asking price of $125 in two days. Scan those cookware aisles for Salad Master. This line of cookware has a distinctive lid and handle. They sell quickly and usually bring a nice profit because they don't look particularly special. So they get missed by most of the up pricers. Have a, um, have a damaged pan? No worries. Even a single lid or handle can be parted out for a nice profit. Oh, she put love you on whatnot. Lee, um, I always call her Lee. It's Lee's... I don't know how, I don't even know how to say it. Lisey DC. <laughs> I'm not sure, but she has been a huge support over on whatnot and she buys from me all the time. So thank you. I can officially thank you in person, kind of on a live video. Thank you for coming to my whatnot. And I hope you're finding some awesome deals. Uh, so yeah, some great information on this salad master. Awesome. Awesome. Got this vintage Sesame street bottle for 50 cents or a dollar at a local thrift store and had it sitting in my profit pile for several months. Finally listed it and it sold in less than 24 hours for full asking price. I'll definitely be grabbing any of these I come across in the future. Oh my goodness. Uh, so what'd she sell it for? 40, no, 40, she sold it for $49.99. It is a vintage Playtex nurser drop in baby bottle Sesame Street Jim Henson Muppets. <laughs> you love it? I love it. Found a set of this Oneida or Onida, I think it's Oneida, flatware at a yard sale for $5 all together and knew to grab it because I've sold it before. Took a best offer of $40 for the three spoons. Flatware still sells. So you guys, this is stainless. This isn't sterling. This isn't silver plate. It's stainless. Three spoons for $40. Um, it's Bancroft Teaspoons, Community Stainless Flatware. That's awesome. 
Okay, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Ohio Treasure Hunters. And he said, I got this in a box lot at an auction. I paid $2 for the box. I had it listed at $129.99, but sent out some offers and accepted an offer of $116.99 plus shipping. It is a Sony Walkman. It's a player and recorder. Untested, guys. Untested. Here's another one from Ohio Treasure Hunters. He is not on YouTube, but he has an awesome eBay store. So eBay store is linked down below. I purchased these at a local honey hole for $8, sold in less than 24 hours at full asking price. Heartfelt Creations Tulip Time Stamp and Die Set, retired, $99.99. Wow. I purchased this at a thrift store for $4 and I accepted an offer of 150 plus shipping for this. It is a Bucilla Felt Applique Christmas Advent Calendar Kit Holiday Panel. Yes, definitely a bolo. Anything Advent, look it up. I think I have an, a video all about different Advent calendars to look up. Saw this at a local thrift store, took a picture because I thought it was different and, and marking said made in Italy. Went home and looked it up, had a hard time finding comps, but saw listings for similar ranging in the $250 to $1,900. Wow. Went back the next day and purchased it for $15.50. Started on eBay with a 10-day auction, had lots of watchers and an offer of $300, but no bids. Listed as a buy it now for $400. Received an offer of $350 in a couple of weeks and accepted. Buyer was happy and so was I. I thank you so much for all you do, Courtney. Have learned about many great items to look for by watching your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. It is a vintage 1960s Piero Fornacetti. That's what it looks like. <laughs> uh, Petty Romano left foot porcelain sculpture. Who would you guys have picked it up? Oh my goodness. I think the Made in Italy would have caught my eye as well. Great find at the Goodwill bins. I picked up this camera for 50 cents. Ended up selling it for $19.99 plus shipping. I find 35 millimeter cameras sell, but take a little bit of time. Um, so one reason I don't pick up cameras is because I don't want to test them. But if you know how to test them, you can definitely flip them from bread and butter to big money. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Money, the Money Worth on YouTube. New member, link is down below. Check them out. Here's another one from The Money Worth. Another Goodwill Benz find. Wasn't sure what it was at first. Did a little research and found out it is a drone battery plus charger. Bought for 50 cents and sold for $29.99. So this is basically a replacement part. It is a charger for a drone. And these things sell, guys. They definitely sell. Definitely a bolo. I found this guy in a church thrift store for $3. It was in excellent condition, no box. This is listed in Work Plus Money's December 15th, 2022 article. Oh, okay. This is listed in Work Plus Money's December 15th, 2022 article by Michelle's Naughty as one of the 10 most valuable vintage Christmas trees and tree toppers. Huh. There were a couple other Scoobies holding different items that were released on different years, but they don't come close to this one's value. I could only find one other for sale in all of the popular marketplaces. It was getting steady views from the time I listed it, and I had sent one, out multiple offers of $199.95. I was pleasantly surprised when I got the cha-ching after sending out the latest batch of offers for him and realized that the buyer had paid my full asking price of $229.95. Please keep your eyes open for the Scooby-Doo tree topper holding a pizza slice. What? That's so funny. So it sounds like the pizza slice is what you're looking for. Bought this vintage Barbie clone outfit. It's not Mattel. I paid $17 for it from a individual clean, clearing out non-Mattel Barbie items. Sold it for $99.99 a couple hours after I listed it. It's from the 70s and good quality. My vintage Barbie clone items often sell for more than vintage Mattel. So this is one of the Bolo Buddies. Um, she's in the Bolo Buddies group, and she actually helped me a long time ago with identifying Barbie clothes. She's really, really good. But she specializes in 
clone items also. So she knew probably when she saw that, that, that this outfit would go for big money. So 17 into $99.99. Bought three scream masks for 50 cents each at a garage sale. One bought, I'm sorry, one brought 50, buy it now. Another 30, buy it now. And this one brought 570 on eBay auction with a hundred opening bid. So I wonder what the ones look like that went for 50 and 30 and how they knew that they were worth less as in worth less, not worthless. <laughs> Scream ghost face mask, fun world division, glow in the dark. Gen one, question mark. 570 on that one. It is really hard to tell the different generations. I will admit that. This is a Benz find from Denver Benz where cost of goods is 69 cents for linens. I paid $1.72 for this quilt and three other similar ones. This one sold for a best offer of $300 from the Goodwill Benz. Yes, you can get linens at the Benz. This one was sold by a rural squirrel. If you're not following her on YouTube, you got to go check her out. She does Goodwill Bins videos. She does collab videos where she meets up with other YouTubers and they have like uh, bins battles and different things. It's super, super fun. It's educational. It's entertaining. A rural squirrel on YouTube. Check her out. Hey, Bubble Buddies. Hey, Courtney. My name's Kristen. I'm a rural squirrel. You can find me in all the places. Thanks for letting me share some of my favorite bolos with you guys. And vintage quilts is definitely on that list. These things have been in style for a long time. They've consistently been good sellers. And I've been on eBay for 26 years. They've always done well for me. And look how much I'm selling them for. Plus, I'm getting them at the bins where my bins is 69 cents a pound. I got another one going out today. So make sure that you're watching for vintage quilts, good quality, handmade, hand stitched if you can find them, great colors, and you're gonna do great because they're always a good bolo. Thanks so much for having me. I hope you guys are out there finding amazing things. I hope you're shipping amazing things. I hope you're doing amazing things. And I'll see you guys in the bins. This one comes from Nina's Jewels, another awesome YouTube channel. This is her channel. And her and her husband do this together. And they have a great, great uh, eye for finding bolos as well. We found a big collection of Harry Potter books at a thrift store in various foreign languages. We paid six per book and some were very valuable. This Urdu translation from Pakistan sold within minutes of listing for our full asking price of $100. I definitely had it underpriced. I tried to comp it, but didn't find any other listed or sold in Urdu. U-R-D-U. I don't know what that is. That's a language, I think. I doubt I'll ever find an Urdu translation of a Harry Potter book again, but if I do, I'll either list it at an auction or closer to 300. I'm still thrilled with the sale. It paid for all of our original purchase of the book collection. This is what it looks like. So yes, anytime you cannot find any comp, I always say start your auction at what you would be happy to get. So in their situation, they started this at $99.99 at a buy it now. I would have started the auction there and just let the auction ride. It doesn't hurt to try an auction for seven days and see if you get any interest. If you don't, you can always relist it at a buy it now. So that is what I recommend for um, hard to find collectible rare items. I bought two of these at uh, I'm sorry, I bought two of these sets in a baggie at an antique store that is closing for $7.50. There was nothing comparable, so I listed the first one at what I thought was a high price, and within 10 minutes it sold. I still have another one to seek but or to sell, but I will be raising the price. Vintage Halloween Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin Miniature Tea Set Made in Japan Kitschy Ceramic, $129.00. Yes, most definitely. Vintage Halloween is a big money bolo. I would definitely start that second set at an auction. She said, I messaged the buyer that I had a second set available, but the listing wasn't active yet. It was only 11 pieces and in what much worse condition. They offered 119 for the second set and I took it. They both sold on eBay, which I cross posted to from Etsy using List Perfectly. Yes, guys, List Perfectly is fantastic for cross posting. I do have a video link down below that shows how List Perfectly works. If you're interested in cross posting, getting your um, items on different platforms, check it out. It's amazing. I've been using it since 2019. That demo video is going to walk you through every 
little step. And at the end of it, I've actually got some footage from List Perfectly of some other features that you can use as well. So even if you've been selling on List per or using List Perfectly, check out that video because at the end you may learn something you didn't know that you may not be using. Uh, if you decide you want to try List Perfectly, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get thirty percent off your first month. So check that out. Six volumes of crossword puzzle books by the same writer. All the volumes were signed by the author. None of the puzzles were written on. Bought at a thrifty shopper in Syracuse, Syracuse New York. Paid $1.50 each. $9 total. Within hours of listing, these six sold to the same buyer for a best offer of 10 each or 60 total plus media mail shipping. I listed the volumes individually. The buyer messaged me asking to buy all six and ship them together. So I created a private listing. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member um, Edge City Trader or Edge City Trader or Edge City Thrifter on YouTube and Edge City on uh, eBay. Bought at a red, white, and blue thrift store for $4. Sold within two weeks of listing for a best offer of $100. I did quite a bit of research to identify this basket. It is a sweet grass basket, vintage gala, South Carolina hand-woven round rice fanner. Good keywords. Uh, 122 uh, 46 asking price, best offer of $100. And that was also Edge City. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Kitchy Canson. Found this train lantern in an auction lot through my local online auction house for around $5. Listed it for $75, and within three days, I sent out an offer of $67.50, and it was accepted. It's on its way back to New Jersey. It is a vintage Dressel Railroad Lantern, Arlington, New Jersey, Globe, and this is what it looks like. Found another mask bolo, vintage Dawn Post masks. Look them up. Found at the garage sale for $10 and sold the same day, hours later, for full asking price of $325 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. And this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, um, It's All Goods 1994. And this is her eBay store. She is also on Whatnot. Give her a follow. I'm still selling books from my June Bolo share. Warhammer books spent $1.84 each, and pronunciation is Adept Us Custodis. <laughs> That's how she said to say it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's a book. This is what it looks like. We'll just go with that. Sharing this because it's funny. Not huge money, but a lesson to myself. I almost didn't pick up this shirt. Last day of an estate sale, took up my fines. And they said everything was half price. I went back to the clothing and pulled the three band tees. I didn't recognize the band, but knew from the tag and the other shirts. It would be early 2000s. So I paid $1.50 and put it up for auction at $50 because they only had one album. Three people bid it up to $61, one album. Adam Ship, 2004 or 5 rock band t-shirt, 2XL. You never know. You never know. This one comes from YouTube and eBay store Resell and Donkey Yells. This is what it looks like. This was from a storage locker unit that was only $70. We have so far sold over $600 from this unit, so it's all profit. Courtney, you are the best, and I am so thankful for you. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. It is a vintage Mont Blanc Meisterstruck Burgundy fountain pen and pen set, and this is what it looks like. $275. Nice sale. This one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty, and this is her YouTube channel and her eBay store, and she is also on Whatnot, so go give her a follow. She's doing awesome. Found this at a local estate auction. Bought this one along with a boxing nun, both for eight. A boxing nun. Hmm. Sold this for $75 plus shipping. Sold the boxing nun last month for $18. It's a vintage Rojo's Boxing Punching Alien UFO Roswell Hand Puppet Glow in the Dark Eyes. Whoa. This is also from Cat Feeling Thrifty. Picked this up at a yard sale for $5. Used it in my office for a long time and then decided to sell it. Sold on Markdown for $106.25 plus shipping. It's a vintage Prestigeline 
Taiwan duck goose head desk adjustable lamp works. And this is what it looks like. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. The September post is up. Go share your bolo so I can feature it in a video like this. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.